This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. You would follow any order you were ever given? Unless it was unlawful. And then I have to determine if it's an unlawful order. And you would determine through your conscience or through the JAG or whatever? Basically through my conscience. I took a fairly quick liking to this New Hampshire general who answered my questions, didn't try to stop me from filming. He's Air Force, if I recall, and I believe he's Maggie Hassan's second-in-command, the governor's uh, top military person or second-highest military person. But even this gentleman... Very good. Just training. Cool. You know, setting up tents. Yeah. It's like the Boy Scouts. Yeah. And this fairly well-behaved military guy in New Hampshire are part of an organization that violates the most basic constructive military principles. Ow. 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 I'm no military guy. Ow. But even I follow military principles better than the military. Ow. By military principles, of course, what I refer to, what I'm really talking about, is Sun Tzu's ideas. If there is an institution in the United States that has no idea how to do what Sun Tzu says, this is it. The military. Starting with Sun Tzu's most basic, most important piece of advice. Quote, There is no instance of a nation benefiting from prolonged warfare. Unquote. Now this one, the feds have not apparently paid any attention to, since the Philippines. Of course, it got worse during Vietnam, and even worse uh, in the terror war. It wasn't even a goal anymore to end the thing, or win it. But let's look at some other Sun Tzuian ideas that the military is in blatant violation of. Here's another Sun Tzu quote. Quote, it is only one who is thoroughly acquainted with the evils of war that can thoroughly understand the profitable way of carrying it on. Unquote. Do we close the Canadian border too? I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Yeah, when, when was the last time we even had a president that, 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 that fit this description? I guess JFK was a combat veteran. Uh, there, there were others that served in the military, but I believe JFK was the last combat veteran to be a president. Before that, it was much more common. I mean, Eisenhower, uh, Truman, uh, both were, I mean, really in it in World War I. Now, certainly a president could delegate to a person with a, a thorough understanding of warfare some of these kinds of decisions. But I guess there's a reason they say you want a, a soldier for president. I'm not sure I'd say that, but some people say it. Quote, the skillful, skillful soldier does not raise a second levy, neither are his supply wagons loaded more than twice. Unquote. So this whole business of going into a war and then, oh, we need to, oh, we don't have enough people. We need to have a draft in, or we need to have a surge and it's four years later or something like that. No, that's, that's not how it works. <laughs> This Ridley O sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your bitcoins into real world stuff. They're privacy friendly, you don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com.